Hey guys, it's me bringing you my semi fin semi finals match versus uh, dropping Draco's coach at the Cincinnati B Warcats. They ended the season five and four, four no, four and five I think actually. Yeah, they ended no. Hold on, let's go look. No, oh, can go look. I don't recall. Five and four. Yeah, I just looked. So they ended the season five and four in fifth seed. Because it was top six teams make playoffs, top two get first round quarterfinals by. So me being second seed, I got first uh, first semi quarterfinals by. And you now this is our semifinals match and Sublime Magic. I don't know why I spelled by his uh, username here, but uh, he defeated. Who did he beat? I don't recall. He played Iron, but it, yeah, he played Iron in the Madrid Minetric, who we faced. We faced him yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was Mr. Panda that we, uh, you know, beat with Me with not Mega Me Me Vanillix, but we beat him with Vanillix, autonomized so Vanillix, and that wasn't Iron. So th he faced Iron. Uh, Drago faced Iron. But anyway, he made a free agent trade right before playoffs, and it was. Diane Tion for Slurpuff, which I can see what he's doing. He wants webs with Thunderous, which I swear to God, it sounds broken. Anyway, <laughs> um, Lee matched up. I'm again, he has webs. I have Rapid Spin because I'm not really weak to webs because I have a tentacle. But his, his thing that benefits from webs is a Thunderous, which you can go hard into. And it can become a problem. Um, he brought pretty much he brought the same team as last time. Uh, he extended it. He traded out Sorbo for Diancy because because that's still five of the six that he had. Then he instead of bringing what did he have last time, I don't remember. But he brought Scizor because obviously Villanix proved to be a problem for him. Um, we brought the same team, or I think I changed the variance slightly. But it was relatively the same team. Um, I don't recall 100% though what I was. Um, oh yeah, I have it right here. I was Choice Scarf, Shabu Lele, I was Life Orb Greninja, U Turn, Ice Beam, Night Slash, Hydro Pump, same variant last time. I was the same Hippo variant as last time. I was the same Tentacool variant as last time. Um, no, 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 no. no. I didn't have Vinox on the last team, I don't think. I had a cell going with the last team. I don't remember what I don't know. to check what I traded it out for. Yeah, I have been, I, I, I put Tyrantrum on this team. Because on the other team, uh, I didn't have Tyrantrum. And uh, week, week 8 when I faced him, I didn't have Tyrantrum. This time I brought Tyrantrum rather than uh, a cell goal, which I don't. I guess it's fine, but I don't think it's really going to win. Because again, he's bullet punch scissor, which I think mean, doesn't. Okay, well, he's like choice banded. Which, anyway, we're getting in the match, because it's taking too long anyway. Uh, we brought the same variants, pretty much. Except we brought Scarf Lele this time, and brought the same Vinox, same Hippo, same Greninja. We just traded out, uh, Tyrantrum. So anyway, uh, lead matchup, it's, it's kind of tough, though. Because I don't want him leading webs, so I want to lead that. I want to lead I Tentacruel. But in the same sense... I don't want to be put in a bad position versus something like this. Uh, because if he doesn't lead webs, I'm, I'm, I'm immediately in a bad position. Unless he leads Scizor, which is fine then. But basically, anything else it just puts me in a bad position. I have to lead Lele, which is good against most of his team. He opts to go Scizor first turn. Not first, yeah, first turn. Uh, but it's fine. Psychic gets a. Because he got the Spadef drop, because he got the Spadef drop right there, Scizor died. And I guess, I don't know. Oh, yeah. He, he stayed in because he was Choice Scarf. Uh, he was Choice Scarf Scizor with Iron Head because for this thing specifically. But obviously, I was Choice Scarf. And that reveals that I'm Choice Scarf here. So he goes Greninja. I have to do Tentacle here. Tentacle is really obvious, but I have to do it. I don't have another swap in. He goes Thunderous, which is fair. Uh, he clicks Grass, not predicting the uh, Hippo to come out, which is understandable. But I have to go Lele. He goes his hard Slurp off because. 
at this point, I think he realizes that he I can't risk Moonblast, and Moonblast nor Psyche is going to Oko Slur Puff, so he can still get webs up, depending on the situation. Which he did get webs up, but I spam spin at this point, no matter what. Which I think he realizes that I'm spamming spin, so he can try webs again, which, because I didn't go for it last time, but I, I spam spin at this point. Don't have a reason to click anything else, not allowing uh, the sticky web to go up. So he just weakens me. Greninja is becoming again a threat, just like last time. And this time we don't even have a revenge killer because we're Dragon Dance Tyrant Uh Really obvious hippo here, but he just opts to go for bulk up here. Uh, I think he did change that from last time. Last time it was SD. Because bulk up actually beats hippo 1v1 if I'm not well, roar or toxic. He helps. Uh, uh, Haxorus comes in. I'm assuming he just goes for the offensive. Yeah, he actually opts to go for the poison jab, predicting uh, Lele to come in on the dragon move. Thunderous comes in. That's bad for me because he can just click that. But he opts to go for T Ball, which is smart because my Grass Knot swap ins are kind of limited, but what swaps into Grass Knot does not swap into Thunderbolt. So, so he opts to go Lele here. I go Haxorus. Uh, not I go Haxorus. He goes Haxorus. I click Moonblast. Yeah, I click Moonblast there. Uh,. He goes Glade here, because he, uh, he knew he would live, basically, because he was really bulky Glade, and he poison jabs there for the KO. I go Hippo. He wishes on the uh, Earthquake, with how he thought it was going to happen, and then he goes hard Greninja for the wish, which is understanding. I can see that, boy. If 59, he gets 59% back, and he basically, I sack Vanilla at this point, it doesn't do anything. It drops to that, and then it dies to that, and then yeah. So Villain didn't do anything at this point. So he goes for double pump, lands it, gets Ash form. I'm like, well, this is a problem. So I got my Greninja, which lives one, so I can click U turn. Basically, I need to keep my Greninja outside of range of pump or ice beam. Not ice beam, but dark pulse. I need to make sure it stays out of range. I go Hippo. That gets some Greninja, so I just took a. Sh no, that was the right play. I go for Earthquake because he missed that. Uh, he's supposed to be in a really good position, and he missed another one. Would that have changed the outcome of the game? So, okay, we'll go ahead and finish, and then we'll talk about that. He gets Thunderous here, that's just the only play, he has Grass Knot, and he just plays on the offensive, but at this point, I got it. I could have gone Tyrant from there, but there's no point, Ice Beam's gonna pick it off. So then I won, I won semi-finals, so we're going to finals against, against Jason, which he won his match of finals, semi-finals too against, I think, the Cleveland Escavaliers, maybe? Yeah. He won against them. Or clans. Um, anyway. So we're gonna go back on this play. Had he not missed Pump. Had he not missed Pump here. So, what happens is... He pumps. I don't know if that Oko's. Which I'm assuming it does, because it's, it's a hip out on versus a Greninja. It's going to blow me back. But I go Greninja then. I click U-turn. I'm at 80% at that point. So U-turn into Tyrantrum. Focus Blast. I Ice Beam. And then U-turn. It depends on how much Greninja takes. We're going to change this for a minute. We're going to change this. We're going to bring this down. And we're going to take a full screen. We're going to talk about this. For a fat minute. Okay, so Greninja. Versus a Greninja. Specs. Timid specs. Pumped a 70. If I, I had to win a 50 50, is what would have had to happen. I would have had to win a 50 50. Had I lost a 50 50, whether he went hard into. Because he was going to have to swap, right? I think he had to swap. He had to win 50-50 then. Had he connected, he had to win a 50-50 to win the game. He came down, yeah, it came down to 50-50. Whether he hard swaps into that or predicts me to hard swap. Because I can't take extra U-turn. Because that puts me at 70 right in range of pump. So I can't do that. I have to make a right play. Because U-turn's going to always OK, I'm assuming. Life, yeah. Yeah, you can always okay. So, I have to win 50 with you, whether he goes into that. Would I have won that? I think. But I think he knows that I know that he has to go hard into Thunderous. So, I think, I don't know, it came down to 50 50, whether he won it or not. But we win, we win semifinals, and we're going to finals versus Jason. Hopefully, we don't get hacked again. 
that'd be great. And yeah, see you guys in final.